This quick and easy egg curry is going to be the best one you've ever tasted. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to go in with 12 boiled eggs. And if you want to know how to get the perfect boiled egg every time, I will leave the link in the description box below. I'm going to start by giving a few cuts on the egg. And this is so that the flavor goes inside the egg. And also so that it doesn't start splashing and spluttering around in the pan. I'm just taking the tip of the knife and giving the cuts on the white of the egg. Now we are making the egg curry with boiled eggs. You could even use poached eggs if you wanted. And if you want to know how to poach eggs perfectly, I'll leave the link of that in the description box as well. To give the eggs a nice flavor and some color, we're going to add one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm just going to season it with a pinch of salt. Just going to give it a swirl so that the spice gets all over the eggs. To make the eggs a little bit crispy on the outside and add to the texture, what I like to do is fry them just for about a minute in the pan. But if you wanted, you could just put them directly into your curry. Now let's go over to the pan and fry them. To heat a pan on medium heat, we're going to add one tablespoon of oil and now we're going to place the eggs into it. Now very lightly we're just going to move them around. We're going to fry them just for about a minute or so. Can you see the cuts and how the spices have gone in? From that you know that the egg is going to be well flavored. The eggs are looking well fried so it's time to take them out and put them into a bowl. Now to the same pan, because we want to pick up all those flavors, we're going to add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. To that we're going to add one large finely diced onion, which is equal to about 2 cups. We're going to saute the onion till they turn golden. The onions are looking good and are getting a nice color. We're going to continue sauteing it just for about a minute more till they turn golden. Into that we're going to toss 2 inches chopped ginger and you're going to add 5 or 6 garlic cloves which have been sliced. Now I've gone in with 5 because they were pretty big but you could go in with 6 if they were medium. Just going to saute this for just a minute. The onions have turned a lovely golden brown and the ginger and garlic would have lost their raw flavor. So now I'm going to add in 2 tomatoes which I've chopped which is equal to about 2 cups. And we're going to saute this till the tomatoes turn soft. The tomatoes have turned soft and everything is well fried. Now I'm going to take it off the heat, allow it to cool just a little bit and then I'm going to puree it in my blender and I'll be right back. I've heated the pan once again and I'm going to add 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil to it. And into that we're going to add two bay leaves, one two inch stick of cinnamon, three cardamoms and six cloves. And we're going to saute it just for a little bit till they turn aromatic. Now we're going to lower the heat and we're going to add two tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder, one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder and one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder. And we're going to saute this just for a little bit. We've lowered the heat so that the spices cook and lose their raw flavor, but they do not burn. And now we're going to add in the tomato onion paste that we had made earlier. And I've still got the stove on low heat because I don't want the spices to burn. And now we're going to saute this till the oil begins to separate. Frying the spices with the onion tomato mix is going to give our curry a lovely flavor. The oil has started separating, so now it's time for us to add in one and a half cup of water. And this is going to help to create the curry. Just going to give that a mix. And 
And into that, we're gonna to toss in two slit green chilies, which I've halved. And for a bit of time, you're gonna go in with two teaspoons of lemon juice. Gonna give that a stir too. Now we're gonna turn our stove back onto medium heat and cover up the pan and allow it to come to a bubble. And now that it has come to a boil, we're gonna add in one cup of thick coconut milk. Let's give this a mix. This is seriously going to be the best egg curry you have ever tasted. And to finish it off, we're going to season it with one teaspoon of salt. And you can add salt to taste. One teaspoon of garam masala. And one teaspoon of sugar. And this is totally optional. Now let's give it a final mix. Now we're going to cover this up and we're going to allow it once again to come to a bubble. And now we're going to take out the cinnamon stick because its job here is done. And the bay leaves. Now it's time to put the eggs into the curry. And now very gently, we're just going to roll them around in the curry. going to place the lid back on and allow it to cook for another minute or two. Wow, our egg curry is all ready and now we're going to switch off the heat and sprinkle on some finely chopped fresh cilantro. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give the egg curry a taste. Well, I'm so excited. Mmm. Well, this egg curry is absolutely delicious. And I'm sure if you give it a try, it's going to be your go-to egg curry forever. Now, if you want the recipe, and want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.